Each year, girls from all over the world come in search of the crown of beauty. World 1975. Top of the bill, 68 of the world's most beautiful girls. With host David Vine. The other privileged man, Ray Moore. The Mike Sam Singers. Phil Tate and the orchestra. And former Miss World and Sydney with the Ralph Tobert dancers. Alonso is 20 years old, the reigning Miss Venezuela. And finally, Miss... <laughs> Contestant number 67, Miss Venezuela. This is Maria Alonso, who's 20, 35, 24, 35. Miss Venezuela, number 67. So Miss Yugoslavia is joined by the other 14 girls to line up once again before the judges so that they can nominate the final seven. task for our nine judges here working hard in the Royal Albert Hall London and of course our many millions of judges spread right across the nation and indeed across the world too all perusing and weighing up the talents and charms of these 15 gorgeous girls 15 who represent some of the most beautiful women in the world and they come out of a record entry to this year's Silver Jubilee Miss World competition getting on for 70 girls from very nearly as many countries a beautiful selection and a lot of head-scratching going on in the judges' panel down there, but a decision has to be made, because one of these 15 
will in a very short time become Miss World 1975. And I now have got the nod and the wink from the judges. They've finished their perusal. They've seen enough of the girls for the moment. So I'll ask Miss Australia to lead them away. Sixty-seven. We welcome now Miss Venezuela. Hi. Hi. Oh, I like that. You've been very kind to us because you've got more names than Maria Alonso, I believe. But you just said Maria Alonso will do because we can't pronounce them all. Is that right? No, I don't like Maria Alonso. I like Maria Conchita. Oh, say it again. Maria Conchita. Maria Conchita Alonso. That's right. Beautiful, isn't it? What a lovely voice. I'm going to stand here all night, I can tell you. Uh, now, you've got this great love of uh, music, in particular jazz. What sort of jazz do you like? Uh, modern jazz. Yeah, I like uh, Louis Armstrong, Ray Charles, you know. And Phil Tate? Yes. <laughs> oh, oh, well done, boys. You know. What, uh, why particularly jazz? Do you study it or just like to listen to it or do you play an instrument of any kind? No, well, I teach jazz. You see, I've been dancing jazz for four years and now I... Jazz dancer as well. Yes. Would you like to do a little piece here for us now? Hey, lovely. <laughs> Thank you. Well, and uh, I teach mostly to uh, young girls, you know, from uh, four years mm -hmm. to 12 years old. I really love that, you know. And you do gymnastics as well. That's right. Guitar singing. I play the guitar and I sing. Not very good, but you know, I try. Oh, I'm sure with that voice you sing beautifully. If you can get past the man waving his arms at me, Miss Venezuela, thank you very much indeed. You. So Marina Langner goes and joins the other one, two, three, four, five, six. And there are our final seven girls in this silver jubilee year of Miss World 1975. Our last chance to look down the full line of seven, these seven girls chosen by our panel of judges from that original massive entry of almost 70 who come here from all corners of the world to compete in this contest. It's those smiles and those figures that have produced figures on the judges' cards and very soon now the final girl will be announced. This is the very last look they'll get and our last look as well a little bit of sadness creeping there, but no need to be, because any one of these can become Miss World. As we look there at Miss Germany, we go right to the other end of the line, and regretfully, I have to ask Miss Heidi to lead the girls away. Thank you, Miss Heidi. <laughs> Miss Venezuela. Miss Venezuela is Maria Conchito Alonso, who is 20 and works in an orthopedic hospital. And her principal ambition in life is to help all underprivileged children to be rehabilitated. Outside of that work, she's very fond of jazz and gymnastics, and she likes singing to her own guitar. Contestant number 67, Miss Venezuela. Last year's Miss World from South Africa will be waiting to crown her successor. But let us first of all introduce the presenter of the prizes tonight, the organizer of the Miss World contest. Will you welcome Julia Morley? And the man who has the results of this Silver Jubilee year of Miss World 1975, the chairman of the Miss World organization, Eric Morley. I shall announce the results in reverse order. Fifth, Miss Yugoslavia. And it's 19-year-old student Lydia Velkovska studying literature and languages. Stepping up to the stage to receive a check now for 250 pounds and a silver trophy. Fourth, Miss Cuba. 
Look at great joy and deep surprise in her face. 22-year-old Maxi Clark, this is, and she receives a cheque for £500 as well as the silver trophy. Third, Miss United Kingdom. Great delight for Vicky Harris and great delight too here in the Royal Albert Hall for 22-year-old Vicky Harris. She receives a cheque for £1,000. Runner-up to Miss World, Miss Germany. Another very popular decision, the crown falling off. Marina Langner, who's 22. Beautiful woman here, £1,500 she receives. And Miss World 1975 is Miss Puerto Rico. Incredible sensation here at the Albert Hall. Will Nelia Merced, 18 years old, absolute pandemonium breaking out there. She's overcome with emotion, being pushed onto the stage.